Baltica Premium Lager. Too short to be drinking shitty beer. Welcome to another edition of Bands Bikes and Blues Reviews. I've got a bottle of Baltica Premium Lager, which supposedly is brewed in Russia, and uh, it's <laughs> it's a beer that I picked up from a place called Home Bargains for uh, just over a pound. It wasn't expensive; it's was about a pound ten. I never had a beer from Russia, and I thought I'll give it a go. And then I had a bit of a read up on it and they're owned by Carlsberg and there's a good chance this was brewed in Denmark I'm not 100% sure but it could it could well be um, it's f in a 470ml bottle 470? why? I don't know uh, 440? maybe I can understand 500? yeah 470? don't know why uh, it's 5.4 hence the premium tag it's got on it brewed from selected malts uh, I love that marketing. Uh, selected malts. It's if they're standing there going, no, we don't want that one, we want that one. Then. Fucking bollocks. Absolute nonsense. Um, here is the cap. Here is the label. Right, where is it? There's the label. Bit torn there. I bought it like that. It's all in Cyrillic. It says brewed in Russia. I'm not sure whether it is because they, they brew this um, in Denmark as well because it's owned by Carlsberg and uh, it's imported by them as well so let's get it open see what it tastes like it's got another one of them pool caps uh, the Mythos, the Greek beer I had one of these and all and these are pretty good ideas I wish they had these on all these bottles because it might have saved my tooth because I used to open like years ago I used to open uh, bottles with my teeth I thought it was a great party trick till my tooth fell out but there you go, let's get it open there's the bottle opened what are we getting on the nose? Just standard fare. Bit of lemon citrus. Bit of lager malt. What you'd expect from a premium lager. This is cold, it's coming out of the fridge. Getting it into the glass. I'm not going to pour it all in there. I'll just leave it like that for a minute. What have we got? We've got a straw coloured golden coloured, very carbonated lager with a one finger head, white head, on the nose, more pale malt and pale malt and uh, lemon citrus, let's get it tasted. It's okay. It's not doing anything wrong. It tastes macro brewed. I will say that. <clears throat> and it's in a green bottle, and I'm surprised that it wasn't um, skunky. Because usually, especially with lagers, you find that lagers in green bottles have a tendency to go skunky. But this hasn't, which is good, I suppose. It's nothing to do with the brewery, it's just how it's stored. Maybe they're using these hops now that have supposedly been treated not to go skunky. Whether that's true or not, I don't know. Um, phew, bottle's pretty unique. It's got embossed stuff on there. I know next to nothing about beer from Russia. I know you get Baltic-style porters. I don't know why they call it Baltic, though. The Baltic states are, um, you know, Estonia, Latvia, and Lithuania, which 
used to be part of the Soviet Union, but they're not part of Russia. So I can't remember whether Russia borders the Baltic Sea. I don't think it does. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I don't know. My geography is not up to scratch at the moment. <clears throat> what would I think of this? Well, if you can get hold of it, it's cheap. It was just, just over a pound. And it was weird because um, right next to it was um, a lot of Holston. Remember the cans of Holston that I reviewed? This tastes a little similar, although I don't think it's got the added sugar that the uh, the Holston had. The Holston was okay, it was drinkable, just like this. Um, on a hot, as I say, with a lager on a hot summer's day, you really can't go wrong. But it tastes, it's got a bit of a metallic taste to it as well. Very slight, but I'm getting that metallic -y type sort of aftertaste to it, which turns me off a little bit. I don't know anyone that likes that sort of metallic note running through beer. This usually come from the brewing process um, where it's gone through pipe work that maybe is not up to scratch or is dirty and uh, it leaves a metallic taste on it. It's got a very slight metallic -y note to it. But it's the usual fare. This could be any lager. You could rebadge this as Carlin, well not Carlin because it's higher alcohol content, but any premium lager and it would probably taste no different. I wouldn't notice the different difference. It doesn't stand out. It's not amazing. It does what lager does. If I have to say that it would be okay on a summer's day then it's mildly drinkable um, certainly not in the league of any of the German brewed stuff which you know is it right at the other end of the scale this stuff is just just the usual fare what would I give it um, is it disgusting no, I could drink it. Does it stand out? No, it doesn't. Um, has it got any dodgy flavours going on? It's got a little bit of metallic taste to it, but that's about it. Um, is there better out there? Yeah, of course there's better out there. Would I recommend it? Uh, if you see it, if you like lager, and you're skint, and you want a, you want a quick hit, get one of these, but... I wouldn't go out of your way to get it, and that's certainly, I'm not going to judge all Russian beers on that. It's like me judging every British beer on Carlin or something like that. I'd give it a 5 out of 10, and would I recommend it? No, don't go out of your way to buy it, you're not missing anything. If you see it, and you want a, a cheap beer, then, and it's cheaper than everything else that's there, then yeah, get it. it doesn't stand out it's just it's just a very very average lager and there you have it Baltica premium lager and remember I'm drinking this shit so you don't have to <laughs>